And I'm JD. And welcome to your industry news. We got a lot today, so let's go ahead and jump straight to it. We're getting a Halo movie. Kind of. Sort of. Not really. Halo just announced a digital feature project possibly akin to 2012's Forward Unto Dawn that will be released later this year. Attached to the project as executive producers are Ridley Scott of Blade Runner and Alien fame, and David Zucker of Airplane and Basketball, while Sergio Mimica Gazan, who previously directed episodes of Battlestar Galactica and Heroes, will direct the effort. It is not related in any way to the Halo TV series being executive produced by Steven Spielberg, which was announced last year, and it will not feature Master Chief in any way. No more news about specifics is out right now, but we'll keep an eye out for any further announcements. Gaming giant Capcom has been very open about their financial issues over the past few years. Their losses for the past year are staggering, to put mildly. The company posted in the press release that their profit forecast has been slashed by 51.1%, dropping their expected net income to approximately $31.9 million. The company has said to post a special loss for the year, citing their struggling mobile businesses. Personally, I'm more likely to believe that's a result of hemorrhaging talent and wasting time on trolling Mega Man fans with stunts like this fake model kit they posted and deleting it for April Fools. You better watch yourselves, Capcom. EA has hired former Uncharted director Amy Hennig to work on an upcoming Star Wars title. Hennig was specifically hired by Visceral Games, the maker of the Dead Space series, as a creative director for their as of now untitled Star Wars game. Visceral Games was one of the three studios that EA tasked with making a Star Wars game, along with DICE and Bioware, and while it's pretty well known that DICE is working on a new installment in the Battlefront series, neither Visceral or Bioware's games have had any information released. Hennig, who was creative director of the Uncharted series, is credited with giving the game its famous feel, detailed her excitement in a series of tweets, saying, Very excited to share that I'm joining Visceral Games as creative director on a new Star Wars project. It's a privilege to have the opportunity to contribute to the Star Wars universe after it's had such a formative influence on my life. I vividly remember sitting in the theater with my buddy Matthew Rucklove in 1976, seeing the first Star Wars trailer for the first time and feeling like the universe clicked into place for me in that moment. This opportunity is the confluence of the two most influential experiences of my youth, and I could not be more excited to go on this journey. No release date has been announced for Visceral Star Wars game. Meanwhile, back in Naughty Dog, the staff gets shaken up yet again for the next Uncharted as the game director, Justin Richmond, also sends in his resignation letter. In an interview with IGN, Richmond stated that he will be heading over to work at Riot Games, developers behind mega-hit League of Legends. Like Hennig, Richmond was specifically named during the announcement for the new Uncharted. Sony Computer Entertainment America has told Eurogamer that these staff changes will have no impact on Uncharted PS4's development timeline, but it does leave the game with two major roles that need to be fulfilled. The Reaper of Souls expansion to Diablo 3, Blizzard's famed dungeon crawler, has sold 2.3 million copies on PC since it was launched last week. Diablo 3 launched over a little two years ago in May of 2012 and was plagued by difficulties when it first launched, including the infamous Error 37, which had gamers up in arms. However, the game has sold over 15 million copies over PC, PS3, and Xbox 360 since its launch, and a PS4 and Xbox One version are coming soon. Reaper of Souls has received critical praise with a score of 86 on Metacritic, and the sales numbers make it clear the game has pretty much completely recovered from the fan outrage at the launch of the game. In addition to these sales, uh, Blizzard has announced the expansion boss, um, Malthael, 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 a, the former Angel of Wisdom and self-proclaimed Angel of Death with a terrible name, has been killed 1.6 million times, which seems kind of low considering he can be killed over and over and over again in adventure mode. Come on guys, stop slacking. And finally, Nintendo has begun to release more footage of Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, confirming a few newly remastered courses from older games. These tracks include Cheap Cheap Beach from Mario Kart DS, Mario Circuit from Mario Kart Super Circuit, and three of my favorites from Mario Kart 64, Toad Turnpike, Yoshi Valley, and the legendary Rainbow Road 64. No word yet on if the shortcut jump still works, but we'll know soon enough when they hit shelves this May. And that was your industry news. AKA JD spends way too much time on the ODAF. Nah, back to the show.